everybody welcome back to my channel today we are going to be doing a big update on all my jumping spider babies and remember how i said chai was done having babies after this third egg sac remember how i said that do you believe that this is like the last one well i was wrong so we'll talk a little bit more about that and more let's just get into it <laughs> So first let's talk about Pumpkin. As you guys know, Pumpkin came to me wild caught, so I actually did not breed her. She just came to me as a gravid female, which is not uncommon at all. In fact, I get messages almost every day saying, Kat, I just got a jumping spider, or I just caught a jumping spider, and she laid me an egg sac, what do I do? And I guess I should probably make some sort of guide for that sort of thing, but I wouldn't even really consider myself an expert. I can kind of give a little bit of direction, but this is just kind of like my little hobby on the side. But yeah. Yeah, so this is pumpkin and this is her little egg sac as you see it's actually hatched there are tons of babies in this okay so i am going to guess that this is probably her first egg sac these guys are going to start pushing their way out of the nest and let me just warn you they are escape artists so you want to be really careful about this obviously i will plug up these holes very soon i guess that'd probably be my number one tip if you happen to get a gravid female because i have heard so many stories of the babies somehow wandering out but yeah i am so surprised Surprise. like look how many babies and you can't really see but pumpkin is in here there she is <laughs> yeah so I'm just gonna go ahead and plug up this enclosure and let the babies chill in here So next let's talk about Chestnut, my other jumping spider that came to me gravid. Actually if you guys remember the unboxing where I unboxed like five jumping spiders and set these enclosures up, all three of those females that Tom sent me all laid an egg sac. So all three of the females were gravid. That's how common this is. This happens so much, like I said, messages every day. If you buy a jumping spider, plan ahead. Know that this can happen. They usually will come gravid if they're an adult. Anyway, so yeah, Chestnut just laid me an egg sac so as you can see hers are starting to hatch and leave the nest too it's really interesting to me pretty much they kind of start here in the center and eventually they start kind of making their way out now chestnut is actually in this little web nest the moms typically stay in it but i have noticed that they all come out to eat at some point so if you see a female that just laid an egg sac come out to eat it's not uncommon that happens to me all the time i just feed them and they, they'll eat and then they'll go back to their nest so they are starting to kind of make their way out of of this inner web and they'll push themselves out through layer by layer by layer and the female will constantly like put another layer down another layer down I've noticed that they'll keep layering it bigger and bigger and bigger to keep them in the egg sac and then eventually the babies are big enough to where they're just gonna come out anyway and then once they come out they come out and they are ready to explore they are ready to eat they will eat each other I would say also something I get asked a lot how long it takes to get from like from eggs to slings from slings to leaving the nest I would say probably give each face maybe like two three maybe four weeks typically around like three weeks though so you do have time to plan pretty much if they lay an egg sac there's no reason to panic because you still have like weeks and weeks to plan before they're going to start trying to get out of the enclosure but yeah so this is how chestnuts is going it looks like a good sack it looks like a pretty big sack that's a lot of babies that's a lot of babies. However, keep in mind, if you do get an egg sac that's really big, not all of them are gonna survive. You can really reduce the amount of losses by separating them earlier and all this. However, um, there is natural selection that's gonna happen no matter what. Some are gonna be stronger than others. Some are gonna gr grow faster than others. Some are gonna eat others. That's just like how it, how it goes. So now we need to talk about chai, but before we do that, I do have a couple pieces of mail I wanted to open really quick. So it looks like this first piece of mail comes from Las Vegas. Aw, thank you so much. They said that they make these watercolor stickers and wanted to send me them. Check those out. Thank you so much. Okay, this one says that there was some kind of damage to the envelope, so hopefully it's okay. Kind of opened a little bit. Let's see what it is. It looks like a book. Wild World of Amazing Arachnids, a coloring book by DJ Wild. Oh my goodness, I've never heard of this. Yes, this peacock jumping spider, I have heard of it. I do not think I can get one. I've never seen one available. If I see one available, I will get one, but I never have, just to clarify. It looks like he um, actually has these on Amazon. 
I'll go ahead and look, but wow, this is so cool. Now the dilemma is do I keep it and just like look at how cool it is or do I let Fiona color it? Yeah, we could color it together, but that is so nice. Oh my gosh, and I think this actually came from, oh, there's a, there's a note, there it is. Dear Tarantula Cat, my wife and I really enjoy your video adventures with your spider friends. My wife overcame her fear of spiders through photography and now she is the proud parent of four awesome tees. I am a coloring book artist and I recently completed this book and published it on Amazon. I thought you and your family would enjoy it. I dedicate it to arachnid education, hoping that others can maybe lose a little bit of their fears through coloring. Well, thank you so much. I'll check it out and I'll link it down below if anybody wants to grab one. I got another package. This one is from the University of California from the entomology department. Now, who could this be from? I actually kind of peaked. This came from Rick Vetter. You guys know Rick Vetter, the author of this book, my favorite spider book ever. I'll also link this one below because why not? But yeah, check out what he sent me. So he actually pre-made me a bunch of these vials. What do you think these are for? My brown recluse babies. That is so thoughtful of him and so nice. He just put a little piece of paper towel in each one and that's how he houses them. So when we separate the brown recluse, we could probably put them in these little vials. So thank you so much, Rick. I really appreciate it. This was a really great surprise when I came home the other day. And yeah, with all that being said, we have to feed chai third egg sac which I recently removed and I wanted to show you her fourth egg sac. Stop it. Get some help. Okay, so as you guys know, I bred Chai. She had a really big egg sac. I kept a couple of the babies, but I gave away almost all of them. Unfortunately, I only have one left from the first egg sac. As for the second egg sac, I only have one left from the second egg sac. So I wanted to feed them both really quick and just show you their size because I actually have Chai's third egg sac that I wanna try feeding for the first time with you guys. And then I'll show you how she's doing. So first, let's check out this one. Where are you? There she is. So here is what it looks like. Oh, we notice it. Here we go. There we go. Check that out. <laughs> awesome. So yeah, that's great. Put you right there. Let's go ahead and try to feed the one from Chai's second egg sack, who looks like they are trying to get out. Yeah, it doesn't look like we have like any color at all yet. Maybe a little bit, I don't know. Booty's kind of small, we're probably ready to eat. I don't even think it knows which one it's going for. Look at its little face. <laughs> That's my dog growling, not the spider. Poach. That one's dead. Come get it. Come get it. Oh, so close. Oh, so close. Oh, sir. Poe. Yes! Way to go! Way to go. Alright, so I just realized that these are the large fruit flies, I think. No, these are the small ones. Are these the small ones or the large ones? Oh! Oh god, they're flying! <laughs> So yeah, here is the third egg sac. Um, this might be a little challenging because there's some on the bottom here, but we're gonna do what we can. So they, okay, cool. So there is um, one on the lid here. Okay, pretty easy to get them off the lid. I now have fruit flies flying around. I'm so sorry. Hey, 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 you get down. Here are what the babies look like right now from her third egg sac. This is where they were all in. I don't know. Let me make sure there's none on here. I cut this piece of exoterra off and I just like put the whole thing in here so that they could all kind of come out on their own time. Uh, do I have a baby on me? Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I wonder if they would take any of these. Oh, 
how the heck is there a there is a baby in here with the yeah i must have just did that by accident i'm not gonna drop a lot in because i don't know if they're gonna eat yet like it looks like this one down here is pretty curious i don't know they seem interested but like they might be afraid of it or i don't know oh that one's abdomen is so small it worries me I don't know I'm going to leave those in there with them for a little bit if they don't take them then cool whatever I'll just pull them out and not that complicated okay so on to chai basically chai is very old I have had her a very long time probably longer than most people have a jumping spider so yeah it makes me nervous um because yeah they have a lifespan and she's met it and probably exceeded it and she's really like kind of showing her signs of age i had to feed her recently and i had to disable the cricket and feed it to her because she wasn't able to catch it she tried and i gave her time to try and she just wasn't able to catch it finally i disabled it and she took it no problem and then she did something that really surprised me um she laid another egg sac her fourth egg sac now i know i said that she was probably done which i assumed assumed because she is so old and showing signs of age I didn't think she had it left in her but she did we have a fourth egg sac it's insane this is what I was talking about this is how the egg sacs look when they first make it they really start webbing up like this and then they will drop an egg sac and they make this little dome over it so you can usually tell pretty quickly when they're making an egg sac and it's gonna stay like this for a couple weeks if not a little bit longer before we'll start seeing like the actual babies start kind of moving around a little bit before they kind of molt and start like wandering a little bit out you can't really see them in there but this is kind of what it starts out as but yeah i don't want to disturb her too much however i do kind of want to put this little corner back where it was if i can yeah we'll go ahead and just put that right back in where it was ta-da it's almost like it never happened right <laughs> chai how many babies are you gonna have look at that exact oh my gosh it's it's pretty small i don't know i'm just really impressed i did not expect that so i'm really actually happy about that because the first two egg sacs like i said i got rid of a lot of them i don't have a lot left i had a few losses i'm down to one from her first egg sac one from her second egg sac and then this egg sac which is pretty pretty tiny makes me a little nervous i don't think i'll be giving away any of these at least not until they're much larger than that and i feel more secure in it and then as for this completely unpredictable i have no idea what to expect from this fourth egg sac but i guess we'll find out together of course as always i will keep you updated i hope you guys enjoyed today's video like it if you did subscribe if you're not and you want to be don't forget to Instagram video is probably way too much as that turns to that cat you can go follow me there also Patreon podcast and Teespring is all linked down below and let's get into the Patreon pet picks.